What's happening people and welcome to another team review. My name is Dirty Mike and if you're new to the series, then it's all about giving you the ins and outs and breaking down some of the top squads in FIFA 13. And in this EP, we've got the Italian powerhouse, Juventus, and they're a tier one squad in my ranking system and they deserve it. That means they're top eight overall club squad. And the reason that they're so high on my list and they're just getting better is because they're so structured, they're extremely organized, probably the best in the in the game in terms of being at the right spot at the right time and all the time. Very consistent team. You can always count on players to support each other and they defend as a squad. They defend as a team. The midfield never leaves the defenders hanging where you're in uncomfortable situations. So if you're one of those players that struggles a little bit on defense, Juventus may be your squad. If you know what you're doing attacking wise, then this could be a squad for you. And the first formation we're looking at is gonna be the 3-5-2. And in terms of tactics, I like to use very slow buildup, slower passing, and that's because Juventus doesn't have a lot of pace. Outside of Giovinco, you don't have very many speedsters, you don't have those guys that can just burn the opposition on counterattacks. So I like to play very slow. And they defend so well that I want to give my defense an opportunity to make plays happen for me. I don't want to push too far in and go crazy with counterattacking football because that's just not what Juventus excels in. However, if you do steal the ball high up the pitch, then go ahead and switch very quickly on your on your tactics. Boom, counterattacking and try an over the top through ball. Make your opponent be honest. Don't let them just start inching up farther and farther and farther up the pitch because they don't see you using through balls, flipping it over the top. You gotta mix up your play a little bit. And if you're gonna use Juventus, I think that you need to cross because up front you have Vucinic, who is really good in the air and he's a really strong physical striker and he facilitates really well. So I use him with Giovinco. Giovinco is your speedster. However, they knocked him down a couple of points in skill moves. I swear to God, he used to have five-star skill moves. He's down to three, but he is just a zoomer. He's more of a winger than he's a striker, but I, I like them as a combination. If Giovinco gets touched, he falls down. He's one of the weakest players on the ball I think I've used in FIFA this year. He's just terrible in terms of strength. And then in the midfield, you've got Marquisio holding it down for you. You got Asamoa. What is it? Lichsteiner. Pirlo and Vidal. It's just a great combination in there if you're running the five midfielder set. And what makes Juventus so special is the defense. They just work so well together. I like using Pogba. You have Chiellini, uh, Caceres, and I always butcher this guy's name. I believe it's Barzigli. And he, I just struggle with it. I do. And then Buffon in the net holds it down. He is a true G. And the second formation we're looking at is going to be the 4-2-3-1. Vujan it up front. Here, here make things happen for you. But once again, slow buildup is going to be the key to success with Juventus, and you should have no trouble stopping your opponent from scoring goals. I went eight wins, zero losses, and zero draws with Juventus, which should show you how successful they can be. And this is in Division One, guys. Keep that in mind. I only scored, I think, 19 or 20 goals, but I did concede four. Just four. Buffon, in my opinion, is top three goalkeeper in FIFA this year. He's just crazy good. He's right up there with Neuer. He might be number two. Let me know in the comment box. How do you feel about Buffon this year? Where would you put him in terms of the best overall keepers in this year's FIFA installment? For me, once again, number two is, is Buffon, in my opinion. But the guy that's a game changer for you is going to be Chiellini on the defensive end. I think that he may be the best center back in FIFA this year. He always right place, right spot, right time, great tackling, good in the air, he's fast. And what's gonna be interesting is to see what happens in the transfer window. They just added Carlos Tevez, so if they can get one more solid striker, watch out. I think Juventus and FIFA 14 is gonna be something, something disgusting. They're gonna be very deadly. You're not gonna be able to stop them. I only used two formations with this team because I didn't feel like I needed to show you any more than two formations. I was having so much, so much success in the 3-5-2 and the 4-2-3-1 that I didn't wanna throw in a third formation. I didn't wanna give you guys a recommendation after I've already seen what works so well. So if you enjoyed the review, make sure to drop me with a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Twitter at Mike's9USA. I will have a lot more content coming for you ASAP ASAP.